So I'll be reviewing Dreamscapes by Stephanie Pui Moon Law for my art book review for today. And this is a, a nice book. It's very well rated on Amazon. It's got 50 reviews and very good ratings. So um, it's surprising that to me this isn't as inform informative. So I didn't find this book as informative as I would have, say, if I was much younger, like maybe 10 or 15 years younger and just starting to draw or paint. But um, it's actually very informative if you are a beginning illustrator and you want to learn how to draw specifically angels, fairies, or mermaids. My biggest criticism is, is that I don't like the faces that um, she draws. So she says her inspiration is Golden Age illustrators like Arthur Rackham or Edmund Dulock or William Waterhouse. And the faces that she has are are much lower quality than any of those illustrators and this is a consistent thing so they look rather severe and also rather monotonous they all look the same so I don't think that this is a good book to learn how to do your faces or your eyes and to me a face is the most important part sometimes of a picture so this is not some place where you'll get that however she has a lot of really detailed illustrations that show and demonstrations that show step by step how to get a particular background or effect. So if you're looking for for a certain background effect and you don't know how to do that and you've just started to do watercolor, if you want to do thin washy effects, especially with salt effects and rubbing alcohol and stuff, she's really going to show you how to do that. Um, also, the other thing that I, I really like that she does is that she gives little tiny demos for underwater stuff or for garden and leaves and roses and stuff and again if you're a beginning illustrator this might be useful. This is definitely much more detailed than most books in this category but again I don't think her her faces are top notch. She's pretty good at showing the reader that hands are important and different kinds of hands and elongating hands and doing the same thing with with feet so she does a pretty good job of that. That I think is actually very useful if you are not uh, adept yet at drawing hands and feet. And trust me, you can be drawing hands and feet for years and years and still not be good at them. So she's actually really good at showing that. I think I've kind of gone beyond this book, but I do think if you're a beginning watercolorist and you want to learn how to do light washy stuff of this style, then you can find this book interesting, perhaps. And again, this book is called Dreamscapes by Stephanie Pui Moon La.